Hello, hello, and welcome to another update video about Bitcoin. Yeah, a, an overall still um, bullish day. Yeah, bullish day overall in crypto, not only in crypto, other markets are moving up as well. And I want to start on the daily time frame just briefly um, to give you a good idea of the bigger picture. It's always important when we get some bigger moves like this, and then we can take a look at the smaller time frame, see if there are any changes. But overall, things are moving in line with expectations because as you might remember that, well, my next targets to the upside are in the 66 to 67,300 area for Bitcoin. And I also explained to you in the last few days that my perspective is, only this morning I think we talked about that, that this move up, which started on the 6th of September, should stretch higher, at least one more high, maybe two. Maybe two. And now we have this one more high. Now we need to see if we can get two more highs. It will depend on which levels are now reached. But already a few days ago, actually one or two weeks ago, no, one week ago. Okay, one week ago, um, I highlighted here on Discord. We have a section there for long-term updates, short-term updates. So if you're also interested in the long-term, um, that might be something for you, for gold members until I think a couple of months ago, we didn't even have that section. So all the updates were sent in the same channel, but now we've divided this, separated this. And my idea was back then already that the price is still on the way to the 67,000 next upside Fibonacci level on the daily chart. However, the smaller time frame patterns show resistance around 66K. So this is here, that level, we only talked about it this morning, 67,300. You can see that since that update a week ago, pretty much exactly a week ago, the market has made some further, um, further. well, it, it's basically crossed a little bit of that distance to that 67,300 level, and we might even get there. Okay, so again, this is the key level on the daily that will be or should be reached next, but on the smaller time frame, there are some levels around um, 66K where we could already see some resistance. Yeah, so it's overall still bullish. And then we will have to see here around 66, 67 K if the market starts to form a move down. Yeah, a first five wave move down and break below micro support would be a first indication that we're heading into the mid 40 K region. However, that cannot be confirmed until we see a first five wave move down. At the moment, obviously, the momentum on the daily chart is still up and that hasn't changed at all. In fact, the market is moving nicely in line with bullish expectations. All I'm saying is around 67.3K, the next um, key pivot will, uh, we, we will arrive at the next key pivot. Yeah? And then um, I've added in the last few days here, this support area that we can watch in this case, when we start to see a decent pullback, this area should provide support. I will have to adjust it with the price as the price goes higher, 55,350 to 60,430. Yeah. Um, I did read um, one, one comment earlier today where someone complained that my analysis is bearish. I, I don't understand that because the analysis is bullish um, because we are still watching for new all-time highs. Yeah. The two scenarios I present here on the daily chart, they still allow for a rally to all-time highs and to 90 200k okay so i'm not sure what that comment was about if you have any questions you can always um, ask in the comment section or join us on discord and you can interact with me and the team and others but overall the momentum is up and all i'm saying is you know as we're approaching this key pivot there is going to be a risk that um, c wave to the downside starts and we know how quickly sentiment can shift in crypto but the momentum is up so to confirm the yellow count we need a five wave move down and break below support. But until then, yeah, the, the white count has a chance, but the third wave to really be confirmed as a viable third wave needs to reach 74K. I mean, I, I hope everybody understands that by now. I mean, we haven't talked about anything else in the last couple of weeks, so it should be that should be clear. Now, looking at the shorter time frame, there's been a small adjustment so that, uh, you, that um, the move down from up here started. And it actually reached those previous lows. Anybody who watched the last videos yesterday um, was informed that in this area around the recent lows, obviously there could be some support and that I cannot rule out that this C wave will stop there. And it did stop there. And then today showed us a five wave move up. So essentially this micro pattern is being worked through. 
but the idea that we go into the support area that had to be revised given that the price moved above resistance a break above the resistance areas earlier today that was our first signal that we are rather going up more directly which is again still in line with expectations given that i wanted to see one more high or two more highs so the rally shouldn't really be surprise a surprise given that the next upside targets here were communicated 65,800. That's what we're likely going to reach next. Then 66,300 and maybe even 66,511. And then we might see another 4-5 pattern. So again, I don't understand uh, why this analysis is bearish. It's in fact quite bullish because even in the bearish count, okay, we are watching for higher prices to fulfill this pattern, which started on the 6th of September. But rem you know, remember, you can always ask questions in the comment section. I can't always read them all. I do prioritize um, replying to, to questions on Discord. Even that I can't always do, but m community members might help. Sometimes I have time and can reply also in, in more detail. But yeah, this is pretty much what, what the situation is. So it seems like this boring, boring B wave that I've been tracking um, is over but uh, remember it, this could already have been wave four so i did say one more high or two which means now we need to be even more on the side of caution but the momentum is up and it would require a break below the intraday low at 62,700 to indicate that a top has formed that's the update about bitcoin hope you liked the update if you did please hit the like button leave a comment and subscribe and if you really like the content, then, uh, then please check out the channel membership. Also, make sure that you follow us on Instagram and Twitter for additional content. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.